What's up, Kings fans? This is Harrison Barnes. Getting ready to head to India for the first time. Got the film team right over here. We got Josh and Brad holding it down. My man Jafar over there doesn't want to be seen. He's trying to be all professional. It's going to be hot, like 110 every single day. So we'll have a lot of fun, a lot of good memories. And we'll keep you all posted along the way. What intrigued me the most about coming to India when I first heard about the opportunity was the fact that I had never been here before. I was definitely excited about the opportunity to come here. You know, I haven't been in SAC that long, so just being able to represent the franchise, uh, it means a lot. So we've officially landed in Delhi right now, getting ready to go through customs. It's like 1.30 right now, so we're excited to be here. Got a long day tomorrow, but we'll keep you all up to date on everything we're doing. So it's like 8.45, we got in last night at five something, uh, about to get our lift in before we get started with the Junior World Championships. Work doesn't stop, no matter where we're at, whether we're in SAC, India, wherever we may be, I gotta get that work in. Anytime there's a gym around, you know, I'm gonna make sure I get my work in and you know, make sure that I try to take care of my body and stay on top of things. It's important to work out every single day just because it develops a routine. It allows you to try to stay as consistent as possible so you can continue to make strides throughout the summer. Our workout was good. After a long flight, it's good to just get a sweat in, you know, try to get acclimated to the time. Uh, temperature out here, it's like 110, so it uh, feels good. Good start to the day. Day one over here watching the uh, Junior Championships. Uh, the experience has been great so far. The kids have been super fun, high energy, so it's been a great experience. As you can see, the guys in the background say hello to the camera. It's a great opportunity for these kids to play at a high level at such a young age. I think that they're way ahead of the game. I think it'll serve them you know, well to continue to be involved with stuff like this. These kids are competing for a chance to you know, go to Nationals and play in Orlando, so it's been a good game. Fellas, fellas, fellas. Way to play, way to play, way to play. Coming here watching you guys, it's been great. But the biggest thing I've been happy about is seeing the energy and the passion that you guys have for the game of basketball. I always had dreams of playing in the NBA, and I just wanted to work as hard as I could to get to that point. So I would encourage each and every one of you guys to continue to work hard, to continue to listen to the coaches because they not only want the best for you as a player, but they want the best for you as a person. The best way I've learned how to play basketball is watching great players. And the one thing that every great player has in common is that they worked extremely hard. They put a lot of time in to go and perfect their craft. So I try to always work as hard as I can, give my all to the game of basketball to try to maximize uh, the abilities that I've been given. The biggest thing I'm working on this offseason is my body, just making sure that you know I'm in the best shape possible to play you know, fast-paced style, king-style basketball but also just can working on continuing to improve my three-point shot. Good day's work, a great time at the camp. Now I want to go with my man, I'll be Shaq, right here. Can my man get a little cameo? No, no cameo? Hey. Gotta have him take me around town. I know. See what Delhi's all about. We went to India Gate in Delhi, just being in a different country and experiencing the culture for the first time. It's been a great experience, so I'm really looking forward to coming back with the team in October. That's been cool, man. I mean, it's definitely an immersive experience being out here, but it's, it's great, man. Seeing the culture, seeing the people. A lot of love. Two. Nice. Don't let the shoulders turn. Nice. Woo! Touchdown. 
the jet lag was tough. Um, you know, just you know, with the workouts and the schedule, um, it was tough to get going those first couple of days. But I found a nice little rhythm um, as the trip went on. Now act like you're coming off it from the corner. Come on, stay with the H. Come on. Woo! So we get a little warm up. For my workouts, um, it varies from a bunch of different things: Great. cardio, shooting, you know, off the dribble, shooting, running around, ball handling, whatever it may be. We tried to vary it up um, so it doesn't get monotonous. Good one. There you go. Just got done working out here uh, at the NBA Academy. Getting ready to pack up, head to Mumbai. Uh, another couple days of doing camps, checking out uh, the country. Should be a good time. Uh, we just out here. Right now, just walking up and down the street, walking in the community. Uh, just want to see something a little different, so I'm just trying to go out here and connect. I've been fortunate enough to travel and see most of the world uh, because of the game of basketball. I've been able to go to places I never thought, do things I never thought I'd be able to do, experience new food, people, cultures, so I'm very fortunate for that. And I've always been fascinated by it. You know, just seeing different parts of the world, uh, understanding how people live. Ha! I'd be like if I made content. Understanding what drives them, what motivates them, so that's something I've always just been interested in. He's out here right now playing a little cricket with the kids. You guys want to say what's up? Everyone right here. It's hot, but we had a good time. Go between the legs now. Okay, nice, nice. Just to see the kids, I mean, some of the kids you can tell have. had been around a basketball before, they know how to do it. Um, some of them th tried to use that as a soccer ball, and we had, to, we had to correct that, but it's great to just see the game expanding, see how kids like this can you know, have fun with it, and just continue to get better. Everyone has been great, shown a lot of love. I made this experience really, really enjoyable. It's hard to say if, if basketball is gonna overtake cricket someday, but uh, basketball is on the rise, for sure. And the fans here and the kids here, they definitely see it, appreciate it and they want to be, they want to be ball players. Yo, I'm gonna get this kid in the NBA Academy. Six in the morning right now, the day before we leave, so we're trying to maximize the most out of this trip, get some more sightseeing in uh, before heading back to the States. As you can see behind me, we got the Taj Mahal. Pretty crazy uh, that we're out here doing this, getting a chance to learn about it, see all the people that are here, see all the environment. Uh, Bucketless experience. I mean, I don't really have a great way to say it, but it's pretty cool. It's one of the seven wonders of the world. So to be able to just see that, just kind of have that moment of you know taking that picture and just thinking, wow, you know, I'm. I'm really here because the game of basketball was a pretty surreal moment. Shout out to our tour guide over here. He did a great job explaining. Come on, man, get in the shot. Come on, man. We kill the best. <laughs> the best tour guide. The best tour guide in Agra. If you ever come to Taj Mahal, this is got to come, come see. Thank you. You guys were all called here for a reason. Each and every one of you guys can be a good, a great, and potentially the next NBA player. So no matter what happens here today, know that you guys have a lot of potential and that this is just one step in your guys' journey. You guys will continue to get better, you'll continue to have more time. Some of you will be in the NBA Academy, some of you won't. But don't let that stop you from being the player that you want to be. The biggest advice I try to give to these kids is just love the game. You know, at this point in time when, you know, you're developing all the skills and you have a hunger, you just want to make sure that the love of the game is the most important thing and that you keep that as your focus as you continue to build and get better as a player. It's been a great week out here in India. Got a chance to do a lot of things. Getting ready to make this long trek back to SAC. I'm tired. <laughs> we've, been, we've been going strong every single day. So can't wait to get back to the States, continue to get this work in.